Kirkaby was a gallery owner and fine press owner in Palo Alto. Uh, she was a wonderful um, influencer of the arts as they developed in Palo Alto. She ended up um, focusing on monotype, which was a really amazing feat because monotype wasn't as um, well regarded as say lithography or etching and monotype really blossomed in the Bay Area and eventually um, nationally and I don't know if, it, if her influence went international with the monotype but I'd like to think that it did. When Paula Kirkaby passed away in 2016 it was very important to her that part of her studio, her printmaking studio, stayed in Palo Alto and she really wanted it to come to the city of Palo Alto so that the legacy of printmaking here in this town could continue. Her sons, Peter and Stephen Kirkaby, made sure that their estate left um, at least one press to the city of Palo Alto, as well as studio furniture and all the tools that we would need to set up our own monotype printmaking studio. I think it was early 2017, this beautiful press that's behind me, which was custom built for Paula by a ship maker in Oakland that she somehow um, got to know and asked if he would design and build this press for her. And we initially moved it into Coverly Community Center where we set up Paula Kirkaby Press. Um, we didn't at the time uh, have a place for it at the Art Center campus. And so for a couple of years, it was at Coverly in one of the classrooms and a wonderful community bloomed there of printmakers. And because it was in an old high school classroom, um, it slowly but surely outgrew that facility. So this year, 2021, in the spring, as we were coming out of the pandemic, uh, we found that it was a great opportunity for um, the evolution of the press and to incorporate printmaking into our classes and drop-in opportunities here at the Art Center. And so we moved it. <laughs>now that we've got the press here and um, thanks to the Kirkaby estate we actually have all of the furniture tools and equipment that anyone would need for monotype we will um, be opening up our doors um, in studio a as a monotype studio as well as a painting and drawing and mixed media studio so this space is now set up to accommodate lots of different art making um, and so a couple of days a week, we'll focus on printmaking, um, primarily monotype printing, because that's what we're set up for. We'll have classes, we'll have workshops, and we'll have a drop-in program for printmakers so that that community has a place to work. A lot of times artists don't have access to a press and they rely on a community art center for that. And so we're really excited to bring that to Palo Alto. A monotype is a unique print. So it's a one of a kind um, uh, piece of art, which is um, made usually by uh, creating imagery on a plexiglass plate. Uh, you can also use a metal plate. I've also seen people use wood. So you basically create an image through various processes. So either rolling ink onto a plate and, um, and then pulling an image out in a reductive process is, 
is a very traditional way to make a monotype. Um, also, I've seen some beautiful painterly monotypes, which um, is what we call an additive monotype, where you're putting the ink on the plate to create your image and layering bit by bit this um, imagery by running the plates through the press multiple times to, to really kind of develop a finished artwork. And one of the things that is great about monotype is that it's very accessible. So someone could come in and start making a monotype and have that excitement of pulling a print off the press and what it looks like when it transfers from the plate onto the paper. And you can get something really fun and, and pretty good really quickly. But at the same time, you can hone that skill and you can begin to develop these very rich, complicated pieces that, that you know, take multiple uh, runs through the press and different layers and then they get really complex and, and, um, and so beautiful. So sometimes people say, well, why would you make a monotype and not just make a painting or a drawing? And it's because it just looks totally different and the process of making it is totally different. So it's really fun. People should try it. <laughs> As a printmaker myself um, with uh, printmaking practice um, for the past 20 years, I am so happy to have this press here. I um, can't wait for this program to grow and to be able to be really connected to it and, and see who comes to use the press and how their work develops and what kind of artwork starts coming out of the studio here. Uh, and it will be very inspiring for me, I know, uh, in my own printmaking practice to, to be around other printmakers. It always is, you know, we learn so much about our fellow artists and um, seeing the work that they make.